Hey everyone, this is Angela at Angela's Garden Scents, and I'm out here on the deck just for a real quickie here. Uh, I've been trying to do a little bit of arranging, a rearranging here. You might see something new out here on the deck. I have some of those stackable trays, and I've decided to take advantage of, after getting them, of up potting some things. As you see, I have some uh, nasturtiums here on the top. Uh, I have some lacinato kale, also known as dinosaur kale, on the two levels at the bottom. And the same way over here, I have at the bottom some lacinato kale. And this tray, I have some giant red mustards over here in this one. And at the top, I have some nasturtiums. I also had nasturtiums on the other. I have moved my carrots over here to the corner, getting them a little bit more sun, perhaps. Although, I have my doubts that they're going to really produce anything significant. They are a real challenge. But anyway, I just thought I would just show you what I have right now. I'm rearranging this little shelf thing that I have. This is one of those portable greenhouses, but I don't have the cover on it. I'm really using it as a shelf outside. Now, these three pots here are radishes. And you know, it's so interesting. These are almost three weeks old, and then they're more than two inches. And, of course, I have a lot of other things that are not more than two inches either, although I'm getting a little bit, just a little bit of growth in some of these uh, seedlings that I've up potted over here. But I've learned something. I've learned something about this cool weather gardening. Now, these seedlings, these plants uh, survive. In other words, they don't die when the weather temperature drops. But they don't thrive unless it's at least 60 degrees and uh, really sort of almost warm. I have planted some things here. These are, look at what I did uh, a month ago. Month ago, red Russian kale planted three, no, three nine. I guess I thought it was three three, three nine, almost a month ago. Not even two inches in height. I planted these in February. Look at that. Not even an inch and a half not even an inch and a half on, on these. Look at that, okay? To give you some perspective, they don't even clear the pot. I think, you know, all that talk about cool weather veggies, they don't die when the weather is cool. That is true, but they don't grow. I've had some in here since September. The weather got cool, they didn't die, they lasted through the winter, I never brought them in, but they didn't thrive. So a lot of this about cool weather veggies, it just means that they won't die, but it does not mean that they're going to thrive, and um, which is kind of interesting. You see some pots over here that I have on the floor of the deck. These are not uh, vegetables that I plan on really reaping much of a harvest. I will snip some of them off and maybe make a little salad or something, but no, these pots are going to be repurposed and some of them will be um, uh, containers maybe for some tomatoes here on the deck and maybe for one or two zucchini plants as well. But um, these, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pots will be used for something different. Uh, my attempt at that cool weather gardening uh, last fall just didn't yield much, hardly at all. So I'm still hoping... Um, of course, my seedlings are okay here that I have that I up potted. Uh, I guess it was the 24th of March, and uh, hopefully, maybe by the 24th of April, they will have some significant growth. But you know what? Hey, that whole thing on cool weather uh, no, they just don't die when it gets cold, but they don't thrive. Here are some that I planted on the 9th of March. Look at the Swiss chard, not even two inches. In fact, you have to zoom in a lot to even see it. This is some Vero Filet spinach. We've had one or two days in the 60s, mid 60s. So they've tried to put on some leaves. So anyway, just wanted to bring you up to date. I'm hoping to get some real growth out of those stackable um, those stackable pots that I got at Dollar Tree. We're going to see what's going to happen with them. But uh, still working on getting this deck together. I think uh, probably my saving grace might be also, which, hey, you know, nothing wrong with it. I'm going to buy some starts. 
to get a real jump start here because some of this doesn't necessarily yield that much you wait and wait and wait after six seven weeks mm, you know where's all the grand foliage here um, I'm still struggling also with my onions but that's another video for another day anyway um, just wanted to share this with you and hopefully I'll get something out of these stackable trays and this kale and just want to thank you for watching and remember to plant something and always eat what you grow. Take care, everybody. Talk to you next time. Bye.